Hi everyone, welcome to SFS Ad channel. In this video, we are going through Salesforce account team feature. Account team is basically used to represent a bunch of users in your company who are working together on, a, on an account. In Salesforce account is used to represent a business, right? So say you are in the business of selling computers and uh, you have different clients to whom you are selling computers and uh, sales sales people usually join as a team and, and they work together in selling computers to them. So this this group of salespeople or a group of users who are working together on an account are called the account team. So account team has a number of features in it. Uh, let's cover those. So at first uh, it allows you to specify access level to account, contact, opportunity and case objects. So this is mostly relevant if the sharing model is restricted. If the organization wide sharing is private then this comes into play and say I am owning, I am owning an account and uh, I usually have a set of five people working with me. I, I have the ability to specify them as a team and then I can specify like uh, any person in my team with this specific role gets this access. So similarly, I can configure a team and whenever I get a new account, I can just assign the team and I am good to go. Uh, so that is, uh, these are the features. So first one is it can control access to these four objects. Uh, then you can specify roles for each team member. Uh, then these account teams are available in list views and different reports and at the end uh, in the earlier example I said uh, I have the ability to configure my own default team. So once I have that default team whenever I get assigned with a new account automatically the team also will be added so it's very less maintenance work for me. Uh, without uh, going through much more details in a slide let's uh, get started with a real demo. So you need to enable account teams uh, from setup. So you can just go to setup and search for account teams. Uh, I'm going to enable account teams in my environment. Once it is enabled, you should get a bunch of more options. So you will, it will ask what layouts you want this to be added. I am going to just select everything. So at this point the account team is enabled so now i have the ability to specify different roles so i am good with these roles these are just high level roles uh, that salesforce suggests so usually a sales rep will be working on an account right but there will be a high level account manager in in some cases and uh, sometimes there will be a sub person uh, looks like there is no example in this one say let's start on support Okay, so this is usually different team roles. So the next step is to add, uh, we, we have already added it to the layout. So let's uh, go to account and let's go to an account and see if this uh, like list is available there. Yeah, here you can see that the account team is specified there, right? So once you have configured these different team roles here, you have the ability to manually go to uh, account team related list and add the members that are working on that case. So in, in my environment, my user is a Salesforce coach. Uh, similarly, there is a user called uh, John Doe. So I am going to add him as a team member here. So let's see, yeah, here is John Doe and I am going to add him as a uh, support engineer who is helping me in selling the bill. So here you might have noticed that uh, account, case and opportunity, these three of these are only present. Why contact is not there, right? So contact uh, is not visible here in my case because in my settings, organization by default is controlled by parent. So contacts parent is account. So whatever I give, whatever access I give to account will be applicable for any contact Android. So I am going to just uh, save him. So at this point, uh, for any cases that I own, uh, if I add John to as a team member, he will also get uh, edit access. So you you will have the ability to uh, see what access you have given here. So since I have given read write, he has full access to these subjects. 
so this is a account how this is how you add a new member to your account team then there is an additional option to set a default team for you so that is done by going to your settings uh, your advanced user details and if you scroll to the bottom you will be able to see a section called the default account team so here if you add a team automatically when a new case is assigned to you uh, this team will be added to that case so in my case say i want to add the same john doe as uh, say account manager to all of my cases so at this point i have an a default account team configured usually an account team will have more than one member there will be say an account manager there will be a support engineer all these folks um, so in, in my case uh, i have only one extra user in my team so the next step is to go to an account say let's go to a different uh, account so here here you can see that there is no account team right uh, since it was a case that was created earlier the team didn't come automatically but i can click this button add default account team you can see that the same john Doe is added to the account as an account manager thank you for watching the video hope you guys liked it please like the video and subscribe to the channel